Today I'm here with another Town Hall 9 base that was not beaten in war. That's right, it's an unbeaten base. It actually withstood seven different hits within this war. I'm gonna show you every single hit, the progression, talk about why the base is so strong, and of course, the base link will be in the description of this video. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel where today we're looking at Reptic's base which was incredible and as you can see right now from first glance you'll notice that the queen the clan castle centralized inside of the base we have the town hall not quite an anti-3 but really protected much on the outside remember putting the town hall towards the outside of the base is going to allow you to keep other things more protected in the core like the clan castle like your heroes like some bows some air defenses so the question is why was this base so strong we're gonna be looking at that today. Also, you're probably wondering, why is Echo wearing a hat? I like it, Kudji. Into that as well. So let's not wait any longer. Let's go into this first attack, which is a Queen Charge Lalo. There are no lightning spells, no earthquake spells. So we just wanna see here what goes on. And remember, every single attack we're watching right here today is going to be one that fails. It's not gonna be a successful hit, which makes you think, wow, this base is actually pretty good. And this is a Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9 war. And we're actually seeing the opponents are using higher level troops in the clan castle. They're not using Town Hall 9 troops on all of the hits. So it's not like they're not coming in with everything that they got. Notice the wall breakers all failed right there. Wall breaker fell off the bat. Looks like there were some little baby bombs over there or something. Queen is going to be able to dive on in. Look at this. Clan castle lore. Poison spell done well by the attacker. The ability had to be popped though. Premature ability pop. And there goes the baby dragon. Queen's going to be able to jump on into that base. Unless if she decides to run around that cannon could pull her is she gonna no she's gonna be able to dive in all right so the pathing did go okay wizard on the outside of the base is doing a good job setting the funnel look at that we had a giant bomb right here in the center now what we're gonna be doing here is exposing where all the traps are in this base right and when you rebuild it or when you copy the base link there's a few things that you're gonna want to do so that you don't get three starred for people that now see this as an internet base this base is now part of the internet and well, people are gonna know where the traps are. They're gonna know how to beat it. They're gonna figure it out. So you need to mix it up and do things differently. And the best ways that you can do that are move around the traps, copy the base and then move the traps around. You can move around a few defenses here and there. You could change up the clan castle composition, which so far we saw, all I noticed was a baby dragon. We'll check again in another hit. Look at this, a max level hound is coming into tank as well. So they are using max level clan castle troops on these attacks. And another thing you could do is you could rotate the base. Copy the base, hit the rotate button. It looks very different just by spinning it and making it go in another direction. It will confuse people temporarily. So that's probably the easiest thing that you could do. Next would be shuffling things around inside of the base. But look at this, it's dying out already, so much so that we could double times through the rest of this. If you guys like bases, you like Clash of Clans and other mobile games, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for daily videos. Actually, two videos a day right here on the channel. Let's talk about that. Reminding you guys now that Every single day, I'm putting out a Clash of Clans video followed by another strategy game video. If you guys are true to the channel, I'm urging you to come on through and check out that second video. It's either Rise of Kingdoms, State of Survival, or Infinity Kingdom. Come on through, watch one of those, give it a few minutes, give it a shot. Let me know that you're one of the OGs and that you got my back. And here we go with the second attack against this base. This one, the Lightning Dragon strategy. So let's see what's actually lightning out of here. Looks like a couple of those air defenses are going to be taken down. There are a bunch right there. One AD, a couple of other defenses, literally setting the pathing for the base. Now, the queen was not scaved on that second bunch of lightnings. I would have loved to have seen the queen taken out. But look at this. The clan castle is still strong. King is still strong, although the king doesn't really matter when you're going in with a Dragaloon attack strategy. Notice with the comp though, there's only one haste spell and a poison spell left. Not much to really help out. Now notice here though, the queen execution right here is very good. The queen's gonna get the third air defense and now they're gonna just funnel down to this side of the base. That means the dragons can be dropped in push straight on through taking out the air defense there's probably a lava hound in the clan castle which is going to have some balloons behind it to take out the final air defense 
we'll see soon my guess is the dragons are going to come in from up top to secure the two star let's see if that's actually what goes down remember with dragons though you don't need to worry as much oh they're actually coming in with the dragons from the bottom of the base wow so they're going in straight for the queen straight for the final air defense i would have thought they were going to come in from the narrow side of the base up top but they are not there comes the Lava Hound. It's not a max level Hound, mind you. Coming in, we'd love to see a little balloon come right now to help out that Lava Hound to take out that air defense because that Hound is going down. All of the balloons were used down below. Big mistake by the attacker, King AR Town Hall 9. That air defense is not going to go down and that's going to be a, a huge downfall. Actually, the dragons are all going to go up to the top of the base and never be able to make their way down execution right here was not the best a bit poor actually and that's what messed up here for the attack they just went over on the left hand side they should have come in from up top sent the lava hound in on the air defense with some balloons behind it we could actually double times through this one because we saw what went wrong i'm not here to waste your time i'm here to break down bases and let you guys see exactly what went wrong why the base is strong why it holds and all of that the the dragons though they do make their way over to the town hall it's going to be close but they are going to pull in the two star wow it's going to be actually very close they do grab the two star and that's the end of the second hit many more to come though let's check them out all right we have another queen charge lalo on this one a very dangerous strategy because remember the lava hounds the balloons they don't go after the town hall because it's not a defense so you have to really be secure in your hit that you can triple the base now why am i wearing a hat well let's let me bring you in a little bit on my life guys I built a studio inside of the garage of my house. So the garage is like semi-heated. I did not put heat in the studio, although it gets warm in here with the lights, with the computer and all of that. But I have a nice soundproof room studio right inside of my garage for me so that I could do YouTube. But in the morning, because this is first thing in the morning, in the middle of the winter, it gets a little brisk in here. So I sometimes need to start my day with a hat. And what better than a space station gaming hat that's right representing space station gaming the best esports organization inside of clash of clans Let's get it so that's why in the next video that i record today i will not be wearing this hat because i'll be warm now you know welcome to my life guys queen does get the clan oh the baby dragon stays up the baby d stays up and is not going to be able to be taken down only minions can shut it down so i'd love to see a few minions hop in there right now the baby dragon was under poison a little bit more but while the oh my god the minions didn't get in there in time uh, the baby dragon stands up and that's going to be what kills this attack check it out guys four more minions he's got to drop them in he's got to drop all four right there right now or that baby dragon is going to clutch the rest of the attack and he doesn't do it clash head steve-o2 is gonna have baby dragon massacre right now the baby dragon is gonna most likely go after the lava hound first the pups may end up getting him but it's, it's not a it's not a good story it's not a good story at all all right baby d does finally go down and here we go. The pups look like they shut them down a little bit there. Now we have the rest of this stuff going through the base. Oh, look who we have here. Brody came to say hi. Say hi to everyone on the camera, buddy. Hi. There you go. All right. Get on out. I'm recording a video. I love you. Thank you, buddy. Love you. So now that that's over, we have uh, nothing else. Nothing. Nothing. We, we missed because we because Brody came through. But you saw. You saw. And, and, and that's what it's like. Living as a YouTuber with kids home because of COVID. So Queen Walk Lalo or Queen Charge Lalo hasn't been working. So RKO is going to try a kill squad Lalo. Notice the two golem in the composition. They're going to be coming in, starting some things out down here in the southeastern side of the base. It's going to do some really good funneling. Golem are great at Town Hall 9. There's no Inferno Towers to melt them. There's nothing that could really take them down drastically. So they're going to get the job done. Opening up this wall. This is great. We got the we got the wall open. We got the queen and the king coming on in. The clan castle low. Looks like there's a Valkyrie, archers, and a baby dragon. That's the clan castle composition. Confirmed. It's official. Actually, two Valkyries, a baby dragon, and archers. Valkyries will tear up a queen. So, uh, yeah, you want to make sure that you poison those Valks. Poison the baby dragon as well. Baby dragon has been pretty clutch, I have to tell you. Will the queen get it down this time? Let's hope raging up the queen alone wow 
Wow, okay. You don't typically see that every day. But the queen herself got the rage spell, trying to keep her up and not utilizing that ability. She's got to take down the king right now. 27. The queen does stand. I thought she went down. She knocked out the king. Ability had to be popped right there. I would have loved to see the queen's ability used a little bit earlier so that she wouldn't have taken as much damage. But here we go. Lalo coming in from the northern side of the base. And the lava hounds coming to tank the rest of the way. Look at the air bombs and air mines all getting pulled. Really nice job with those Lava Hounds pulling out all of the traps, but check this out. There's a Sweeper right there, and that Sweeper is going to continuously knock back those Balloons. The Haste spell was just wasted right there. It's not gonna be used at all. The Balloons, oh, nope, not at all. No use for it because the Balloons never made their way. You could tell, you could tell right now that there's not enough left in the space. The Queen is still back there picking off Balloons. Now it's just like, archers minions trying to get as much percentage as they can because this was the fourth attack against this base these are all in order so as you know people could watch these replays and try and figure out a better way to attack but they haven't been able to find the way yet all right so queen charge hogs right maybe five healers and your queen coming through with hogs will get it done now notice the attacker here has a little bit lower level heroes not low but lower than we've seen not max level that's why the fifth healer is coming on top of the queen a level 24 queen Will Hogs have a better chance of pulling in this base? Possibly. With Hogs, you can niche out a bit, a bit of this base and then have them path around the other way. But is it going to work? Well, we know it's not going to triple. Is it going to be a time fail? Is it going to be that they run into a struggle inside of the base? Is it going to be the heroes are too low? Is it going to be the base is too overpowered? Also, what you guys could do in the comments is let me know, how would you three-star this base? Clearly, the clan that was going against this base, and this is not the only war where the base has been unbeaten. It's been used in quite a few wars, none of which it was ever able to be tripled. Mind you, if you're looking for bases, some of the best base builders inside of Clash of Clans are now working over at Clash Champs Champ Base Division. Over there, they have Boom and a couple of the other greatest base builders that are champions inside of Clash of Clans, building bases that you guys could pick up. If you decide to go over to Clash Champs, click on the Champ Base Division and use code ECHO to save yourself 10% on anything you buy over there. And uh, well, it hooks me up too, but it also hooks you up with a 10% discount. Class Champs, not only great people, they're great builders, giving you great bases to better your game in Clash of Clans. So, yes, we have bases here for you. You can get them here for free. You can actually go to chat Clash Champs as well. They have a free base section where you can either share bases or give or get free bases as well. Either way, go check them out. Great website, great people. Look at these max level hogs too. That's worth noting, maxed level hogs are coming into this base. There's plenty of heal spells, but they're not getting the heal value. The heal spells are spread doing two heals rather than the hogs all being healed in the same spot. And this is because the base was not narrowed down enough initially. Rage spell being used, but it's the hogs aren't even in it. Wow. Again, poor execution. That king should have been dropped in first to help narrow down the base. But as we can see right here, the hogs will perish. They will die out. They will not live. They are going to be gone. And that's sad, but that's what goes down. That's what happens when you get bases that are just hard. And this is a hard base, one that you're gonna wanna try. So we got, uh, we got two more attacks, two more strategies. Let's see if they can pull it in. And I want to take a second and give a huge shout out to It's Silo, who's per currently editing this video. He has a YouTube channel of his own where he does Fortnite montages. Great kid with some really good content as well. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'll be linking his channel in the description of this video. Make sure you go check him out. Send him some echo love. And if you like what he's doing, sub his channel. And now my Jenny's going to give it a shot. Coming on in with another one of those Queen Charge Lalos. More near those max level troops right now. Those max level heroes, I should say. But again, going to be unsuccessful. Why? Well, you know why. So we got the Queen coming in right here. And those healers are going to be dropped on pretty quickly. There we go. The healers are on top. Now, this is a little bit of a longer attack, two and a half minutes. So this queen, and that typically happens with these queen charge attacks, right? Look at those little bombs. They, they, it's the second time the small bombs have messed up wall breakers. The queen will be able to get in right here though with that final wall breaker. Uh, my Jenny did a nice job 
just taking their time a little bit more time but now only two wall breakers left will the queen be able to get into that section our wall breaker is going to be dropped right here we're going to see king is coming in from the outside as well wizard supporting where will the wall breakers go where is the queen going to be broken into this base now it's nice to see that the defending queen went down already that archer tower will soon be targeting the oh, oh this is where the break is going to happen i think there it is wall breakers they're going to hit a bomb though no Oh, the queen! She ran around the other side of the base. The breakers were too late. And now the baby dragon and Valkyries are going for the king. That's going to be shutting them down as well. The Valk the wizard's already gone. There's the king's ability. Nothing. Nothing there to shut down the baby dragon. And the Valks are still up. Oh, my goodness. These healers are in for a problem. Baby dragon's going to rip them up while the Valkyrie attempts to rip up that queen. Nice job with the poison. Oh, no. Miss. Miss the baby dragon rip wow quickly how quickly things can change on attacks like these the lalo's coming in gonna try and cycle around the base but the base was not cut out enough the queen was never able to break into the base to be able to take down any of the air defenses or to take down the clan castle properly now she's going around the outside cleaning stuff up but there's just not gonna be enough power they've got sweepers you're fighting against the tesla you're fighting against and the lava hounds can only last for so long before well, before they decide to call it a night and be all done. Man, that was a rough one right there. I would have wondered if, if it would have done any better if the queen got into the base. There we go. Not only are we giving love today to Reptic for the base, but also to Echo Wars, which is part of the Scrappy Academy and the Scrappy Wizards family. Make sure you come on through if you want to be part of this clan family. We have Town Hall 8 clans, two Town Hall 9 clans, a Town Hall 10 clan, and multiple mixed clans for higher Town Hall levels, including the Scrappy Wizards, which is my daily that I call home. If you guys want to be part of any of that as Brody plays Space Invaders back there, you guys can make sure to come through my Discord server, which is the pinned comment, and request in the looking for a clan section and the final and quite possibly the best attack of the day is being done right here by dot dash kp another one of those queen charge lalo's quad quake on this one just to make sure that the queen definitely goes where she needs to be but will she that's the main question so this is going to be the seventh attack we've witnessed here today against this base none of the attacks were able to three star it why is this base so strong what does this base do that other bases are not able to do because so many times you'll be able to see town hall nines come through and wipe out bases with no issue whatsoever but right now the queen is going to be able to go into that compartment right into that king Going for the air defense. The clan castle lore is happening right here. Poison spells going to be dropped on top of that baby dragon. And the queen. So nice job with the poison. But the queen's ability was used there as well. Forcing that queen's ability. Those Valkyries, they can be brutal. Shutting down the enemy queen and diving deeper inside of the base. We got the queen. She's doing a nice job right now. And I'm going to pause the video right here. So I have someone knocking at my door. FBI, open up! <laughs> Can I play? No, I'm just watching a replay, okay? You can sit on my lap. And we're joined by Brody for the last few minutes of this video. But the queen, look at this, Brody. The queen is diving. Look at her with the healers going into the base. But her, her ability was used already. So she's going to die right here. She's got an expo and a cannon on her. Now, though, the lava hounds and balloons, they're going into the base. That's pretty cool as well. And they're going to path themselves around as much as they can. But there's not much left. They're going to be fighting this air sweeper right here. Look, they're getting pushed around. Air bomb Dad, comes in. Yeah. Dad, what is that? Oh, that's the clan castle. Yeah, that's what the clan castle. What does it castle. do? It's just extra troops you could bring in on an attack. You will know. You've played Clash of Clans. You know that. Yes. Do not know that. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh, we got we to gotta teach you again then. Because you, you had a base you were working on with your brother. But guys... This but base. now I can play it because it's on Carter's map. Yes. But yeah. this base is super strong. I'm going to remind you guys that the base link is in the description of this video. We're always trying to do that for you whenever we can. And I want to remind you to sub the channel and ring the bell for daily clash videos as well as those other strategy videos that we mentioned a little bit earlier here today. Remember guys, use code ECHO inside of the shop and come back for more. This is actually the, the closest, the closest attack, but it is going to die out. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of the video. You guys are the OGs, and what is stuck where? Looks like uh, it's that minion. Guys, 
Have a great day. Check out some of my other videos before you go. Say be good. Be good. Be good. Do you want to say something in front of the video? Do you want to say? Like say be good or say bye guys or something. Bye. Say it again. Look at the camera. Bye.